Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can easily paint this lovely Christmas floral wreath. So let's get started and don't forget to like and subscribe. For supplies today, we need watercolor paper cut into the shape of a square. Then we need a circle drawn in pencil on the paper. You can freehand this if you like, or if you're like me and can't draw a good circle, you can use a template, protractor, or even just a bowl from your cupboard to help you get this more round in shape. I will only be using one brush for this painting today. The one I will be using is a number six round brush. I have water, a paper towel, and of course, watercolor paints. For colors today, I have a dark brown, which is burnt umber mixed with a little Payne's gray, cadmium red, sap green, sap green mixed with a touch of azo yellow for a yellow green, and sap green mixed with a little ultramarine blue for a blue green. I will also list all of my supply specifics and color names in the description of this tutorial. Now, the first thing we're gonna paint on this floral wreath are the main flowers. So take your brush and some red and anywhere on your wreath make five thick dots of color. I'm choosing to do mine off-centered to the bottom left. Then rinse your brush off, lightly dry it on a paper towel so that it's still a little damp. Then take that damp brush and with the tip pointing towards the center of the flower, pull the dots of color outward to form the shape of a petal. Then just repeat that process on the remaining dots. After all the petals are formed and while the paint is still a little wet, take some more red and dab some more dots of color into the center of the petals, allowing that paint to spread into the petals a little bit. Now I'm gonna repeat that same process over again three more times to make three smaller flowers that will surround the big one. Next, let's paint two or three pine branches stemming out from these flowers. So take some sap green and very lightly, just so you're only painting with the tip of the brush, follow along closely to the pencil line, painting a line for the center of the pine branch. Then start painting thin needles along either side of that line. Make sure that the needles are pointed at a bit of a slant. Now really quickly, I'm gonna go back to the red flowers now that they're dry to finish them off. So take some dark brown and paint some dots or even a few small lines that can represent the center stamen. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're going to paint some blue-green branches on either side of the wreath. So start by painting a blue-green line of color along the pencil line. Then paint some nice pointed leaves off to either side of that line, leaving the top open for a little red flower bud that we will paint on in a minute. Then I will make two more of these same branches on the other side of the wreath. I think I'm gonna add another small blue-green leaf branch here by the flowers, but I'm not planning to put a red flower bud on this one. So I'll top it off with a leaf instead. Now for the flower buds on the tops of these branches, I'm gonna put a bit of red here at the top of the branch, then I'll use my clean damp brush like I did with the first flowers to form maybe four petals that point just to the side and up. Now let's add one more branch of leaves to either side of this wreath. This time I will be using the yellow green and the leaves will have a rounded end instead of a pointy one. I am also painting the leaves in various sizes all along the stem. Okay, we're getting close to being done. So next, we're gonna paint a few grasses with the dark brown. We'll have three on each side of the wreath, plus a small one on each end of the wreath. So start by painting the stem, and then make little kernels or spots onto the top and down each side. Keep in mind that the majority of the grasses are gonna be on top or overlapping the other parts of the wreath. Now that my wreath is almost done and I can see how the composition turned out, I feel like I need to add another little blue-green leaf branch here at the bottom. Now for the last thing to paint on this wreath, I'm gonna paint a few small red berries here and there just to finish it off. These aren't anything fancy, I'm just painting small red circles and then leaving a small white empty spot on each berry for a highlight. And you can choose to paint as many or as few as you'd like. When the paint on your wreath is dry, go ahead and erase any pencil marks you might be able to still see. And then as an optional piece to this wreath, you can write a word in the center using a brush, marker, or pen.
And here is your pretty little Christmas floral wreath. It can be framed and used as a lovely decor piece or painted on the front of a Christmas card. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.